Hey, what's up, guys? Um, lots of updates, uh, lots of just stuff, but just been real busy. Um, I have a car now, so I've been driving every which way. I uh, went into Boston yesterday for a concert, which will lead me to another thing. But, um, just been real busy. Um, I haven't even got my game set up fully set up. It's going to be torn down in probably a week or two, because uh, i got to get Windows replaced. But, um, long story short, the uh, Zelda chests I made that I sold on Etsy, uh, I've gotten a lot of interest on those. I have about a thousand views, um, I think I'm up to 80 or 70 favorites, which is a lot for something I've built. Um, then I have, um, what else? I sold two of those outside of work, uh, one in work, one for my brother's co-worker, um, I don't know, just a lot with those. Um, I've had a war with the Radio Shack. <laughs> that That's a whole video in, its, in of itself. Um, this laptop has been goofing around on me. Uh, it's been having a lot of issues with overheating um, and other issues with... Um, Just lots of issues. Basically, they won't cover it, even though I paid $300. Uh, then the other issue is I go to the stores, they don't order parts. Because uh, you guys know I buy a lot of parts for the uh, for the chest, the belt buckles, so on and so forth. So, yeah, I've been having fun with that. Um, got some stuff on eBay, a bunch of pickups. Um, actually, I think I have other pickups, and I can't even remember what. But, um... Yeah, um, basically I did a trade with um, someone on Etsy, um, which I'll link their store because they make some cool Zelda chests just as cool as mine, if not better. Because hers are actually hand-painted. Mine are pretty much just stained and shellac or uh, uh, sealed. But I have a huge box of just broken controllers. Some of these are mine in here that I threw in here to sort all my broken stuff. But, you know, I got, like, wireless controllers that aren't meant to be wireless. I got like a broken GameCube controller in here that has no wires and it needs a thumbstick on it. Uh, I put all my extra Genesis stuff in here. Just lots and lots of extra stuff. Um, basically, I just uh, had to pay return shipping uh, for a belt buckle I made. And it was without sound, so that was a perfect deal on my uh, for my for me. Um, I still have um, a bunch of my old broken DS's, which I think I'm going to try and sell in a lot or something. If anyone wants a whole pile, of just uh, I think it's like two DS lights. I have one that sort of works, so I'm going to keep it. Uh, but I have the two DS's, and then I just got this one uh, part of a thing on uh, eBay. You can see why I got it. But it came with... Game Boy, which it looks, I mean, it's in pretty good condition. It was listed as not working. I have to clean it up a bit because you can see all the rust. No battery cover. I had the battery cover for this model. I don't know what happened to it because I had that and another thing I bought, um, and that's gone missing pretty much. Um, I have this, I think I did it a long time ago. I had video. It was my solar Game Boy. I basically have that. And I don't know what happened to it, because I could use the battery cover from it. But it came with the best game of all. All it is is a calendar. I kid you not. It, it's just a calendar. Uh, but it came, the main reason I bought the lot, it was it was a buck with like $4 shipping, $5 shipping. But it came with uh, Mortal Kombat for Game Gear, so I bought that. I have another, uh, two games coming from uh, eBay that I bought for 4 bucks. I think it's Super Columns, and I'm not quite sure. Let's see, Super Columns, and Outrun. So that'll be fun. Um, so I got that, and then, as I, I think I said in the beginning of the video, I went to a concert. Well, at the concert, I know the sing, uh, singer of the band, and I've been talking to him for a while about games, and he said, well, I have a bunch of old games. So I got 007, two working controllers with good joysticks on them, a system with a power cord, no video cord, but that's easy enough to come by. 
He says it works. Um, it looks like he's always owned it because I opened where the jumper pack was. And the jumper pack still has a seal on it. So that's good. Uh, two PS1 controllers. Another PS1 controller. And then what I was really happy about, not this one. I, I have no clue if that's good at all. But Tristan L3. So I'm happy about that. Cool thing is, I've, it has the video cord, but it has uh, the RCA out, which I thought was really cool. And I have Twisted Metal plugged in right now. I can get my mute off. But yeah, I have all that now. Um... I have a car, so I'll hopefully start doing pickup videos and all that such. Um, other than that, guys, there's not a lot. A lot of stuff in my Etsy. Um, this is Zelda chests are selling quite a bit. Um, I think I sold two of them online, two of them elsewhere, and I think I have one going to uh, Sweden, oddly enough. Um, but I still have to kind of sort everything in my room. I just have junk upon junk upon junk. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, if there's anything you want in the video, because I don't know what I'm going to do with um, this. I might just toss it, unless someone wants it for parts. Um, it seems to have a good battery in it. Um, what I'm going to... Well, if I do anything with it, what I want to do, and I saw someone do this, is they turn this into a Game Boy Advance. They basically chop the whole top off and then just use it for Game Boy Advance games. But I gotta figure out how they did that. Because without the top, it doesn't turn on at all. It just goes boom. So I'll talk to you guys later. Let me know if anyone wants um, any more videos posted because I've gotten like no comments even though I have a good amount of uh, subscribers so talk to you guys later.